Hi folks, this is Chuck from the Brownie Camera page, otherwise known as the Brownie Camera Guy. And I thought I would go over opening Brownie Box cameras. You know, I get a lot of uh, uh, questions generated each week from uh, my the Brownie Camera page. Uh, maybe 20 or 30, which is a lot for me. And quite a few of them, uh, people have a question as to how to open up their camera, and especially uh, box cameras. Uh, you Very simple cameras, but some of them, you kind of have to know how to open them up. So I thought I'd, I'd go over four different models here. There's four different ways to, uh, the, uh, these models, I should say, open differently. And, uh, so I'll make a little short video about that. Uh, if you have any questions, you can um, uh, leave them in the comments below. Or uh, you can contact me through the Brownie Camera page. I love to I love to talk about brownies, and I even like using them more. So this particular model is a number three Brownie Model B. Uh, it was made between 1911 and 1917, and this was one of my very first Brownie cameras. Uh, this was my great Aunt Maggie's camera uh, from Tennessee. And so, uh, uh, let's go over how to open this this camera. This one's one of the is a fairly easy camera to open. This has. Uh, these little uh, latches here, and so that's that's sort of uh, uh, slid open, slid over, I should say, and lifted and and sort of moved to the side. I don't know if you can see that. And there's another one down here that's the same uh, the same way. So you move that over, and that kind of slides out. And then uh, this is where a lot of people have some trouble. They they pull and they go, hey. It's stuck. Well, this is uh, the winding knob for the film. As you can see, it, it turns freely in a counterclockwise direction. So what I normally do is, uh, as I'm turning it, you lift away from the body. Yeah, uh, let's see if I can do that so you can see it. You lift it away from the body, like so. I'll do that again like so. And then with the latches uh, uh, moved out of the way, these latches, the camera separates apart. Okay, now I'll go into uh, loading these cameras in another video. I'm going to stay concentrated today on uh, just opening and closing the cameras. So then again, with the this pulled away from the body, the winding knob, that will close. You turn it and let it go. You don't ever force any of these uh, parts. Then you push down on that latch and move it over. And uh, the same on this latch. You sort of push down on it, move it over, and that's ready to go. Okay, so next, let's talk about the... a. Uh, Let's see, let's talk about a number two brownie. This is a number two Model B. Uh, this camera is from 1914-1915. Uh, uh, it's because of certain features on the camera. We're going to go over a uh, manufacturer, how to determine what uh, when a camera is made, too. Um, but that will be another video. This one's a, a fairly easy camera to open. It's uh, it's intuitive. You slide this over. You lift up on it a little bit. Open it up. It gives you the model. Let's put that upside down. The model name. This is the number two model D. Fortunately, this camera takes uh, 120 film, which is easily found. And again, it's a pull, uh, turn and pull up, and then carefully remove the back. And there's the film holder to put a nice fresh roll of 120 and go out and shoot with this with this camera. And then that carefully gets put back in, 
Everything is closed carefully. There's no no forcing. The little latch. Uh, um, you can see this has a lip on it. I hope you can see that. Okay, so that, you see the lip. That goes under. Push back, which kind of pressures it down. And that goes down nice and easy. So that's it. This is a nice example of a, uh, this, this uh, uh, camera is literally 98 years old right now as I'm making this video. Okay, the next camera we have is a Target 620. There's many other models that, by the way, there are many other models besides this one that use this sort of latch or the first one. Uh, same with this camera. Uh, um, there are 620 brownies and, and different ones that use this sort of latch. This one's a mystery to a lot of people. I get quite a few requests as to how to open these. Uh, this camera was made between 1946 and 1952. Uh, so right after the war. And this camera opens up by pulling, turning and pulling out on that latch. You see how that pulls away from, let's see if you can see that. That pulls away from the body very easily. And then this button right here, you pull up on, let's see if I can, show. and then that comes apart. So you can see this one's a, a <laughs> this one's a little harder to get apart. This is a 620 film. We'll, we'll go into film sizes at another time too. So when you put that back in, you can see how this, if this is pushed in, it, uh, let's see if I can show that really well. It has this little uh, winding mechanism that sticks out that, so you have to pull that out. This goes in and this one snaps and then that's that? ready to go. So this one's a uh, little bit more difficult to open. And here's a, uh, here's, the last kind I'm gonna kind I'm gonna show you on this video. Uh, this is a uh, 620 Brownie E. This is a really nice example of this camera. Um, actually, one of the more complicated Brownie cameras. And this was made between 1947 and 1953. This is a very simple uh, camera to open. Again, it has that same metal winder. This one is almost in brand new uh, condition. So it's very easy to open. And it's a pull it aside, pull out the winder, and there it is. Makes nice big negatives. And that's that one. So there you go. There's, uh, there's four of the most common types of box cameras to open. The, with the, the different latches. And um, we'll do an, I'll do another video uh, uh, soon about something else to do with brownie cameras. So go out, fill those cameras up with film, and have a really good time shooting. And um, I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.